I used to be well off, but now I am penniless after dividing all my assets among my children. At the age of 73, I was kicked out of the house by my eldest daughter-in-law. My two younger children avoided me, and now I am left to live in a shabby rented room. For many months now, I've been living alone in a rundown rental room, not far from the spacious house that used to belong to me, where my eldest son's family now resides. I left because I couldn't stand the snide remarks and insults from my daughter-in-law. I took only a few clothes, a box of books, and my computer, my faithful companion in the lonely days of old age. My wife has been gone for over three years. After her mourning period ended, my children pressured me to divide the inheritance. I admit, I wasn't always a good father. Though I provided well for my family financially, I was often too preoccupied with work and even some pleasures outside the home, neglecting my family. Once, I even betrayed my wife, causing her great sorrow and illness. I deeply regret it, and that's why I found it hard to refuse my children's request. I also wanted to make it up to them, to atone for my past negligence. Moreover, at my age, I didn't have much material need. I K. Several close friends warned me against giving everything to my children, saying it was foolish to make myself dependent on them. But I believed that all my children were well-educated, with decent jobs, and they wouldn't turn against their old father. And even in the worst-case scenario, I still had my pension to rely on. But what my friends warned me about came true. After I divided all my assets among my three children, even signing over the family house to my eldest son, I suddenly became an unwanted guest in my daughter-in-law's eyes. She no longer showed me any respect, becoming increasingly rude and insolent. Though I'm old, I am still clear-headed enough to realize that she was intentionally being disrespectful so that I couldn't stand it any longer and would leave the house. And indeed, I couldn't stand it. I made an excuse about missing my grandchildren and went to stay with my second son, but I could only stay a few days. His wife and he subtly hinted that I shouldn't stay long, saying the eldest son received the larger share of the inheritance and thus should be responsible for caring for me. I hinted to my youngest daughter that I might come to stay with her, but she politely declined, explaining that her mother-in-law was living with them. It was then that I realized I had no place to call home in my old age. I, K, I returned to my eldest son's house, but my daughter-in-law's behavior worsened. My son never stood up for me, and avoided the situation whenever I mentioned that he should teach his wife some respect. One day, when my endurance reached its limit, I packed my things and moved out, taking only a few personal items. Since then, I've been eating cheap street food twice a day and nursing myself through illnesses. I keep wondering, are my children ungrateful, or am I simply paying for the mistakes of my past? Do the wrongs I committed in my younger years justify the way my children are treating me now? I used to be a strong, robust man, and at 73 that's not considered too old these days. But since I started living alone in this rented room, my health has sharply declined. I've aged significantly and become frail. On sick days, I force myself to get up and buy medicine, but I can't even manage to swallow a bowl of instant porridge. I cry in bitterness, imagining dying in this rented room with my children none the wiser. The loneliness I feel is overwhelming. My close friends can't always visit or invite me for a drink or a game of chess. Out of pride, I don't share my troubles with many people, and the future looks utterly hopeless. What should I do? Isaac okay. Hay.